Good everybody, it's Matt here and today I have got the Ubiquiti Dream Machine Special Edition. So this one is the upgraded version of the Ubiquiti Dream Machine Pro. It's visually very similar and most of the specs are very similar as well, but there's a couple of key differences that are a big selling point to go with the Special Edition over the Pro. Now according to the back of the box here, it says this is an all-in-one router and security gateway with integrated PoE switch, that's one of the things that's a difference, and network video recorder. Now the Dream Machine Pro can work as a network video recorder as well, but you do need to add storage into the Pro to use as an NVR. This one comes with 128 gig of storage built in that can be used with that network video recorder. So this one comes with as standard. So if we continue reading the description, there's a couple other things in here that are the bigger selling points to me personally. But if you are starting out with an NVR system, then this one does give you that capability straight out of the box without needing to add anything extra to it. So that is pretty nice. So it says here, the Dream Machine Special Edition is an enterprise grade Unifier OS console capable of helping home and business owners alike seamlessly scale and manage their network with high-speed dual one connectivity. It has 10 gigabit SFP plus and 2.5 gigabit ethernet RJ45. So that's one of the other things that's different. Both the Pro and the SE have the 10 gigabit SFP plus support, but the Pro only has one gigabit ethernet, whereas this one has 2.5 gigabit ethernet. So we do have a bit of an upgraded ethernet speed there. It does also have a gigabit power over ethernet switch. And that is the other thing that is the big difference here. All of the local ethernet ports in the SE are power over ethernet capable. So what that means is if you're running PoE devices, like let's say wireless access points or cameras or that sort of thing, from the Dream Machine. The Dream Machine SE will basically handle that all for you without needing to use PoE injectors and so on to add that power into those wireless access points. So when you add that to that 128 gig of internal storage, this really does become an all-in-one, ready to go out of the box NVR machine. So this one also says, powered by Unified OS, the UDM SE gives you full control of all your Unified devices, including access points, protect cameras, talk phones, and access readers. So that's another thing you might be using PoE for, for example, the talk phones. It's also a future-proof console since it will be able to run all the upcoming Unify OS applications. Engineered for end-to-end -end simplicity, the UDM SE features an integrated Bluetooth radio that streamlines the initial setup and configuration process, which can be completed in minutes with the Unify network application on web or mobile. So these ones are a really quick, easy setup in my experience. It has full Unify OS integration, which is pretty awesome. It's got a 1.7 gigahertz quad-core processor. Those dual one ports, so that's the 10 gig SFP plus and 2.5 gig RJ45 ethernet. We've got eight gigabit ethernet ports. Six of those ports are 802.3 AF power over ethernet and two are 802.3 AT power over ethernet plus LAN ports. What's the difference there you might ask? Well, 802.3 AF power over ethernet supports 15.4 watt devices. The 802.3 AT power over ethernet plus protocol supports 30 watt per device. So it's doubling the power it can send, which means it can run more power hungry devices. We also have one 10 gig SFP LAN port in addition to that one port. It's got 1.3 inch LCM color touch screen, which I find those come in really handy. We also have customizable internet threat filtration and traffic identification for enhanced network security, quick Bluetooth powered setup. It's one new size rack mountable and it's compatible with the smart power redundant power supply system as well. So it advertises itself basically in this summary point as an integrated security gateway and unified protect ready NVR that supports compatible 3.5 inch hard disk drive. So that's gonna go in this slot here in the middle, if you can see that one, to basically expand that capacity for your NVR storage to well above the included 128 gig of built-in integrated storage. And this really is an all-in-one business grade router that can handle all of your local network needs for many businesses, but are not necessarily at the point of needing a power over ethernet switch or simply need more power over ethernet ports and need them coming from a different location. So I'm actually gonna be installing this in a network that needs power over ethernet coming from the router location and a separate set of power over ethernet coming from a separate switch location. But we don't need a full switch where this router is going. So this gives us a lot more flexibility for covering off our power over ethernet requirements. So this box comes with the rack mounting kit as well. It also comes with hard drive screw kit for that 3.5 inch hard drive port. It comes with the power cord and of course rubber feet for it as well if you choose not to rack mount it. Now this one's getting really heavy holding it up here so let's whip this one out of the box and we'll have a closer look at it. So on this side of the box we just have our pull tab here which makes these super easy to open the seal it just tears straight open just lift and pull this little tab here and we're open. So in the top of the box here 
we have here all of our accessories. This includes our manual up the top here. We've also got our rack mounting kit. So that's these two metal plates here, which are an L shape for that rack mount. Then of course, in this little sheet, we've got all of our screws and accessories. So I love the way that Ubiquiti does these. They're all nicely mounted in the foam there. So that keeps them super organized and also really easy to get out and see exactly where everything is when you're setting these ones up. So I love that. Thank you Ubiquiti for making that so easy. So in our screw kit, we've got our rack mount screws. So these ones actually will go in these holes in the plates for screwing it into the dream machine. Then we've got these ones for mounting the dream machine in a rack. Of course our hard drive screws and our rubber feet if we're using it in a desktop configuration. We also have in here our power cable. And this one is actually now a really quality braided power cable. So that's really awesome. I love that. Continuing down is then the dream machine in there. That's it. So we've got foam on either side. Really nice and easy to grab and pull it out though. I love the way they do these as well. Makes life so easy. It just comes straight out like so. And then we can slot it out of its protective baggie. There you go, that is the Ubiquiti Unify Dream Machine SE Special Edition, also known as the UDM SE. So we've got our touchscreen LCD over here on this side. We've got our three and a half inch hard drive bay here in the middle. Our eight power over ethernet ports here. So we can close for these two, number one and two, have the little power symbol and a plus to indicate they are the PoE plus ports. And the others just have the power symbol. So all eight are PoE, but one and two do support 30 watt devices. Over here at number nine is our 2.5 gig ethernet one port. And of course our two SFP ports, both of which support 10 gigabit. And the top one is the one port, the bottom one is a local network port. So the two one ports are both indicated by those little globe icons. Down here in the front on the bottom right, we do also have our little reset button too. On the both sides at the front, we have these four screws. So as I mentioned, that's where our rack mount plates are gonna screw into, just like that. So they're gonna line up nicely, like so, for setting up the rack mount. And I will do a separate video on how to actually rack mount these as well. So just running through that process. Over here on this side, we have the USB connect port. So this actually just comes straight out and we then have the connector for the USP connect system in there. And over this side, we've got all of our specifications and everything else, plus our power port. So this one does come with a cover on it and it has a little lock as well to lock the power cable in, which is really awesome. I love that because you don't want to accidentally be pulling this one out at all. So when it's unlocked, we can just pull this straight out and there is our power input. And so of course, when we connect the power up to it, we can then just lock that straight away and that's going to lock it. So we can't pull the power cord back down. Over here on this side, we have those other four mounting holes for our rack mounting kit as well. Now, if we pull the little manual out of here, it actually is not really a full manual or anything like that. It's just a little card, which has a scan here to get started QR code. And that's it. And that will then take you through all of the setup process and manual and so on. So scanning this QR code basically jumps us straight into the setup process. So scanning that one brings us into the Dream Machine Special Edition manual. And that's got all of the setup process. It's got all of the information on what parts go where, how to set up the mounting kit for rack mounting, how to actually rack mount it and so on. Then of course all of the guides on hard drive kit, how to add an extra storage unit to it and of course coming all the way down to setting up the app and all of that sort of thing as well and getting the dream machine connected. So basically it's all a digital manual that you can access just from scanning that QR code. We do also have that 3.5 inch hard drive bay at the front of the unit here. So if we peel back that plastic cover that'll let this one open up and this is the hard drive bay. So at a glance this does look like a fairly standard NAS hard drive bay. We've got a little door that kind of looks itself shut with a spring mechanism and of course releases to unlock to allow the drive to remove. We then have instructions on both the inside and the outside of this one about how to actually install a 3.5 inch or a 2.5 inch hard drive. The instructions are exactly the same either way except that on the inside it tells us where the hard drive connector should go. On the outside it doesn't bother with that bit it just shows the screws because let's be honest if you're up to screwing it in you've already got the hard drive connector in the right place. Now there is one extra screw which I did forget to mention in our kit. It is this one here. It's slightly bigger than all the other hard drive screws. It is part of the hard drive mounting system though. It is the lock screw for a 3.5 inch hard drive. So these bays actually have a almost screwless mechanism for three and a half inch drives. It actually locks them in place really solidly. And then we just use one screw over here to lock the hard drive in. We only need to use those other four screws if we're using a two and a half inch drive, which does not fit the locking mechanism. So I'll show you how that works. I've got my hard drive bay. What you'll notice over here on this side of it is this little metal bar which says pull which is a little bit different now 
We want to line it up like as per the pictures. So we want to put the top facing up aligned with that side in first, the connector side down first, connectors on this side. And then we're just going to slide that in and this will pop to lock it in place like so. And there you go. That's actually locked in really solid now. The screw over this side is a precautionary screw. So we want to do that one up to make sure the hard drive is as secure as possible. If you want to pull it back out again, pull this metal bar where it has this pull indicator. So right in the middle of it, pull it out like so, and then lift the hard drive from this side. So pull and lift and that'll pop straight out like so nice and easy. So there you go. That is the Ubiquiti Unify Dream Machine Special Edition or UDM SE and everything that comes in the box with it. So the Dream Machine itself, rack mounting kit, hard drive screws, feet, power cable, and of course our little quick start scanning card to jump into the manual and get started. For more information and pricing on the Ubiquiti Dream Machine SEs, make sure you check out the affiliate links that are down in the description. And of course, give this video the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos from me, including how to set up the rack mounting kit and of course mount this in a rack. Hope you found this video helpful. Have an awesome one and I will catch you next time. Bye for now.